Hello lovely. How are you? Good. I'm Nicola and I'm one of the breast care nurses here at the clinic. It's nice to meet you. So my love, I will be carrying out your examination today. All right. And I will be carrying out a full breast and chest examination, including your armpits, collarbone and your neck. That's checking all your glands, okay? All right. And I will like to know a bigger picture if that's okay. Good. So, what brings you here today? Okay. Wonderful. Yes, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and seeing the adverts have prompted you to have a look. Well, that's great. That is perfect and I'm so glad that that has actually prompted you to have a feel around and have a look. All right, so it's really important that both men and women to examine themselves once a month, okay. All right, so you examined and what did you find exactly? What is making you concerned? Uh-huh. That? Okay, and what does it feel like? A little bit bumpy. Okay, a bit Okay, so not particularly one lump, but a, there may be a couple, a little bit lumpy and bumpy, does it feel? Okay, and when you move, what are we feeling? Is it hard, soft, or... Okay. All right. Yes, that makes sense, I understand. All right. I know, it can be a little bit difficult doing it ourselves, but it's a simple step-by-step -step that we can do. All right, but before you go, I will make sure you are aware of what you should be doing, okay? All right, but don't worry about that. At this stage, I just want to get a picture and then I will do a full examination. All right, my lovely, okay. So don't worry about what we should be doing or what we shouldn't be doing at this stage. But the most important thing is that you have been checking, all right? And that is a must. Good. So have you noticed any changes at all in your size, the breast? Do you have any dimples that may be going in like that? The nipples inverted? Okay. What about any discoloration on the nipples? Have you got any discharge or anything like that? Any scabbing? Okay. What about any reddening or any rashes or anything like that on any of the breast? Okay, that's good. All right. And did you have a feel in your armpit at all or not? Okay, so only slightly. Okay. Yes, yeah, she wasn't no problem some people aren't aware of actually how much to check so don't worry about that you've had a feel around and you know that's really important and really good okay so feeling lumpy a couple of lumps and bumps there and a little bit of discomfort didn't you say all right so is the discomfort when you're touching okay and have you noticed any of that normally? Okay, so that brings me on to, are you still having your periods? Are you in the menopause or are you pregnant or trying to conceive? Whereabouts are you? Okay. Perfect, okay, so during your period, have you been having any pain or discomfort in that area? Not that, not that you've noticed, okay. So overall, do you get any period symptoms? So any, you know, cramping? Do you have tender breasts? Do they swell? Anything 
that you can tell me that you get around that time of the month would be really useful. Okay. And how are they normally? And have you ever had any problems with your reproductive system at all? Okay, that's good. Right, I'm just going to stop you there a moment. Jot this down. You haven't had any problems with your reproductive system, but has anybody in your family at all? And if so, who and what was it? Thank you. And have you had children at all? If so, how many and when? Any history of cancer at all in your family or yourself? If so, uh, what cancer? Okay. So, you haven't had anything, which is great. And so do your mother breast cancer okay and no other cancers is that correct okay I know these questions can be a little bit alarming but I have to ask them okay all right but don't worry I'm here okay with you all right my lovely all right I know I know it can be a little bit daunting especially when you have had a family member that does have cancer, particularly breast cancer, I get that. And I take it she doesn't have the gene that you're aware of. Okay, good. It's fine. Are you on any hormones at all? Any contraception pill or anything like that? Okay. That's fine. Have you had any smears at all and when was your last one if you have? Okay. Do you get called for those regularly? Okay, that's good. I take it they have always been okay. Good. I'm happy about that. So, um, but 
a lot of questions all right but the more I know the better okay so if you can think of anything that you feel like you should mention please let me know okay good so that is all to ask anything about your reproductive system just make sure it's okay it's fine I think about it's perfect good so Now, can you just tell me if you have any medical problems at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. I take it and that is still present. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything in the past that you have had that you think I need to be made aware of? Okay, that's fine. Great. Are you on any medication? Mm -hmm. just confirm why you are on those okay I thought so and is everything well monitored that's good when did you last have your blood pressure checked okay so you're not sure and what about a blood test okay not too sure as well so it's quite some time ago then if you can't remember I take it you don't go every six months or yearly to have a health check. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can request one of those at any point, really. That's totally up to you. You can ask your doctor or a nurse and they can do you like a general health check or something like that. Yeah, and they can carry out blood tests and things. All right, it might be worth looking into. I take it you don't have the blood test to help check things with the medication that you're on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if the doctor doesn't ask you to have one, I would say it's not necessarily an urgent, but me as a nurse, I would have thought that you would have had them checked at least once a year, but yeah, maybe mention it to them. Okay, I will pop a recommendation in the report anyway, and I'll just say the medications, maybe it's possible you can just check the bloods yearly. Okay, sometimes you need a bit of a prompt, you know. Yeah, okay, but that's fine then. Um, have you ever had any STDs, STIs or anything like that? Okay. Right, so we have your name, date of birth, problem, what you experience at the moment. That's all there. And uh, going a bit more detail about that. History, medication, your yeah okay that's fine what is your occupation please okay. how are you overall with your health are you genuinely feeling well are you feeling okay or do you feel i'm you know poorly or is something not quite right okay so maybe a bit fatigue okay how long has that been going on for, do you think? Uh -huh. Okay. And how is your sleep? 
Okay, so quite disturbed. All right. So that could be contributing to the fatigue. All right. Have you always had a bit of a you know situation with sleep, or is this a fairly new thing? Okay. Now I know you've mentioned that you have some issues with your, your mental health. How are you at the moment? Are you feeling quite stable? Are you, are you quite, you know, managing? How is it? Okay, well, that's really good. Okay, so you're doing all right, then not too bad. Okay, so you're feeling pretty stable at the moment. Okay. And with anxiety, you, would you say that's quite controlled and maintained at the moment? You're not stressing about anything in particular or over worrying? Okay, not until you've obviously started checking yourself. Okay, that's understandable and all right. Okay, but I'm glad to hear other than that, you are doing okay. It's really important that you can recognise when you're not doing okay and I take it you're quite good like that. So with your job, I'm guessing it gets quite busy, hectic and can be quite long days, is that right? Yeah, how do you find it? Okay, well, that's good. And everything's all right there, no problems or anything. Okay, yeah, I suppose we do, don't we? We just have to get on with things, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So what about your home life? Who do you live with? Yeah? And how are things? Good. I'm glad to hear that. Wonderful. And friends. Have you got many friends? Have you got quite a good social life? Yeah. Everything okay? Good. So we say you've got quite a good support network. Good. So I like to ask these questions. I can get a bigger picture and get to know my patient a little bit and see if we are doing all right. Sometimes, you know, if we are stressed and things are going on, you know, we're run down, you know, things can kind of you know, change in our bodies and stuff like that. Yeah, not necessarily serious or anything like that, so it's always good to get a bigger picture. So that brings me on to your social life. Do you drink alcohol at all? How much? Roughly. Okay. Do you smoke or vape? And if so, how much? And do you take any recreational drugs? Okay. Great. Wonderful. So that's all that done. That sections there. Very good with that. Very good with that. Thank you very much. Yes. Brilliant. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Right. I know. I just talk to myself sometimes, you know. Anyway. So. Do you have any hobbies? Would you go to the gym? Do you exercise regularly or anything like that? Okay. So there's no chances of you maybe pulling a muscle or anything like that. Okay. Do you, it's a silly question, but do you wear bras? Okay, do, are they underwired, are they padded? Okay, and when was the last time you got measured? Okay, so qu quite some time ago, yeah. So when was the last time you wore bras? So that's quite a while ago as well. You need to make sure they are fitting us correctly. Yeah, okay. So it's probably best you go and get measured again and yeah, I think so. Get some new ones. 
Okay. Right, that's that's fine. So, do you wear deodorant? Again, another silly question. But what deodorant are you doing? Is it a spray? Is it a roll-on? Is it a stick? What is it? Uh huh. What brand? And how long have you used that for? Okay. And do you shave or wax on your armpits at all? Okay. Roughly how often? Okay. And when you shave onto your arms, are you using shower gel? Or are you using a shaving product? If so, what type of shaving product? Okay. So what blade shavers are you using? Okay. Wonderful. Do you get reoccurring sore throats, tonsillitis, or swollen glands, or swollen sinuses, or anything like that? Any infections? Perfect. Okay. I think I've got a good picture now of you, your lifestyle, all right, how you are mentally and physically and a little bit about your family history, etc. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. Everything you told me, I wouldn't think has any impact on your situation at the moment. Yeah, so everything that we've discussed, what you're experiencing, I don't think is related in any way to anything else. Yes, really, it's, also, it's a good thing, yes, as well, but, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? Okay, but I don't need to ask you any more questions like that now. I'm perfectly happy with everything. The best thing for me to do is actually examine you. All right. So what we like to do is have a full examination and then we put the examination together with the report, the questions, so we have a look. Then if we are concerned as well, we can send you for an ultrasound or a mammogram or something like that, okay? Yep, and we can obviously do some bloods and different things like that. Here we are very thorough. I just want to say, if I want something doing, please don't automatically think it's a bad thing. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather send everyone for an ultrasound and just, you know, make sure everything's fine than literally not and then, you know, God forbid it being something that, you know, it's a bit more sinister. Okay, so I do like to cover all bases, but if I'm definitely thinking, no, that's perfectly fine, you know, I wouldn't send you on to have any further testing, but if I was just wanting to double check, I would, okay? Yeah, exactly. But I don't want you to be stressed. I know it's easy said than done, but I just want you to try and chill out for me, okay? I'm here with you, and I'm here to help you. I'm going to help you. And we're going to have a look and see what's going on. All right. Okay. So what I will need you to do is remove everything for me. So your top and your bra, please. Okay. I would need you to do that for me. Then I'm going to pop on my gloves and I'm just going to start having a look, having a feel around and different things like that. Okay, perfect. Now while you get yourself ready, I'm just going to pop on my gloves. Okay. I just want you to stay as you are okay just sit there as you would normally okay I will be coming up close I will be touching and I will be looking okay are you all right for me to do so great and anytime if you do feel uncomfortable please let me know and I will back off okay 
yes that's fine no problem at all if you do experience any pain or anything like that i would like you to tell me as well all right okay now is it okay with you if i proceed with the examination perfect so then you can just stay as you are and just sit like that for me sit as you would i just want to have a look how your breasts naturally form okay Just looking now, I can't see anything abnormal, okay? So there's nothing popping out to me, if you like, thinking, oh, what's that? Okay, which is really good. Okay. Now, can I get you to bring your arms right up for me and just hold them? Okay, that's it. Perfect, and just stay there for me, thank you. Okay, and can you bring them back down? And back up. Down. Up. And down. Good. All looks perfectly fine. I can't see anything abnormal. That's really good. Right, if I can get you to just pop your arms right out to the side for me. Great. Stay there for me. Can you bring them back in? So just go like this and like that for me several times. A few more times. Okay, and relax. When you're doing those moves, how are your breasts feeling? Do they feel tight? Do they feel sore? How is it? It's a little bit tender. And it's this side, isn't it? Okay. But nothing too excessive. Okay, was it more up or was it more out? Okay, so yeah, all right. But not really painful or anything like that. Just a little bit, ooh. Okay, that's fine. Just looking at you, everything looks okay to look at. I'm now going to examine the breasts. Okay, now I just want you to sit as you are for me. All right, I'm literally just going to go around both of them. All right, just very briefly at this stage. Okay, can I continue? All right. Okay, that's it. Stay nice and still for me. Thank you. So just gently in my hands, just around the whole of the breast. that okay all feels okay now I'm just going to go around the actual cup okay so we're going up run sides towards your armpit and right under the bit underneath. Okay. And then to the centre. Okay, it feels alright. Okay. 
Okay, now same again the other side, all right? Okay. So, just run them down. feels okay. Just going to feel at the same time. It's good to just see if everything's even. Just going to feel in the middle there. Okay. And now just the upper chest, okay. Good. down the centre again. Perfect. So all that feels okay and that feels okay. All right. Now, if it's okay with you, I'm going to do more of a deeper check now on this breast first. Would that be okay? Good. Start with if you can just stay as you are. Okay. Right. So it's about here, isn't it, the problem? Okay. Right, okay. Would you say it's when your arm's raised? Okay, if I can get you to raise this arm for me, thank you. And hold it. Okay, so there's no change in shape or anything. No dimples or anything. Which is good. Now, now you've done that, I can definitely feel the lumpy, bumpy bits that you were telling me about. Okay. So I'm just going to have a really good feel around. Okay, I need to concentrate for this. How's that feel?
just going to hold the breast up there and check underneath. Okay, that's the sign. Okay, so I can definitely feel there. I'm thinking it's just a cyst. Nothing to worry about, cyst, if you like. Because the way it feels and moves. And if I move down, it's tender. And there's another. Then if I move it around, it all feels a little bit liney, if you like. Yeah, is that what you mean? Okay. Okay, I'm going to hold there. If you can pop your arm down for me. And now back up. happy with everything else and everyone else feels perfectly fine. Okay. While your arm's up, I'm going to check your armpit, so I'm going to work my way up, okay? Okay, so from where we've noticed it's a bit strange, I'm going to wiggle up. How's that? A bit tender. Okay. okay I'm just going to... It's definitely about there where it's feeling a little bit harder than I thought it would be, but. a little bit of an infection. Yeah. Could just have a little bit of an infection. Does happen. Okay. I'm going to pop you on down for me. Now I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Is that okay? Perfect. Right. Keep nice and still for me. Okay, so I'm just going to feel around. Just going to feel here to see how it differs from the other side, okay? Does that feel okay? that arm up for me, thank you. Now I'm just feeling around so I can feel anything like the other side. Any discomfort or anything. Okay. 
Okay, whites, then I'm just going to go into your armpit, okay? Okay, so that doesn't feel like the other side. Pop your arm down. Thank you. Okay, so I'm happy with the examination, all right. I'm happy with everything we have discussed. What I want to do now is get you down to have an ultrasound scan. I want to have both of your breasts and your chest area scanned, all right. Just as a precaution, really good scan around. And then this section here, I'm really going to concentrate on up into your armpits, okay? And a really good look around. So we can see what's going on, all right? Now, if I am concerned when I do the ultrasound, I will be sending you to have a mammogram, okay? And then if I'm still concerned from then, we can do the appropriate steps, okay? But feeling around, they are just like cysts, probably harmless cysts, okay? So I shouldn't be too worried. If not particularly cysts, just that have grown on their own, I'm wondering if we have maybe an infection. Because when I was looking at your armpit, there was a little nick. Now, that would have been from shaving. Now, sometimes you can spray like deodorant or roll on and it, the product can go in the cut and then it can start blocking up, cause an infection, different things like that, swelling, lumps, bumps, okay, which sounds pretty like that could be what's been going on here. I mean, it depends, obviously, how long you've had that cut there, when it began, etc. All right, yes. So I do want to double check all the armpit, all the way down there, all around the breast. Really good look in there, okay? Yeah. Now, does that sound okay? Good. So I'll be scanning around. I'll be getting you to move in different positions, okay? And I'll be having a good look around, feel around at the same time. It may feel a little bit uncomfortable at times, especially around there, because I will be pressing quite firm. All right, have a look. Okay. And... Obviously, the other side I will just be checking all down the centre there, top there, down by your collarbone, okay? And I will go slightly up into the neck area, okay? And let me just feel down here. It's fine, I can't feel any swelling there or anything. Good, that's fine. Okay, you can pop your top back on now. All right, I'm just going to give you one of these. Okay, right, so the plan is I'm going to take you over to the ultrasound department now. Okay, it's just over the corridor. All right, it's where we do our ultrasounds on the breast area and the chest. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go over there. We're going to carry that out. All right, I'll let you know there and then. If I am concerned, we'll just go over the other corridor and then we'll carry out the mammogram. All right, then on our way back, if you can do me your urine sample, all right, then when you come back in the room, I'm going to obviously check your urine. I am going to do your blood pressure, pulse check, temperature check, and I will carry out a blood test. All right, does that sound like a plan? Perfect, wonderful. 
So, let's take these off. And if you'd like to follow me. Hello, lovely. I can get you to just pop your sample just on the table for me. Thank you. So, how are you feeling? Good. I'm glad to hear it. I told you it was nothing to worry about, didn't I? Good. So, I'm happy with the ultrasound. No problems there. So, we didn't need a mammogram. Okay. It's fine. So, as I said to you briefly in the room, we've got a little bit of gristle, all right, and a little bit of like cystic lump, okay, just a couple of them. Yeah, it's nothing to worry about, they're perfectly fine, and they may grow a little bit, so if they do start to grow, I probably would suggest removing them, okay, but some people, they don't grow, they just stay as they are. Sometimes they grow and they're fine, but sometimes it can get a little bit uncomfortable. All right, and obviously we need to make sure that we are keeping an eye on these lumpy, bumpy bits, okay? Yeah. I still think as well that we may have a little bit of an infection going on, okay? Definitely do. But there's nothing to worry about at all. Okay, perfectly fine. All right. So, no problems. Oh no, this is what we're here for. Exactly. Exactly, but think about it. If you never checked, but then this was, you know, sinister. You know, time. Yeah, exactly. The sooner you come and get checked, the better. All right, time counts. All right. Yeah, so we can try and check once a month. All right, find a time that's good for you. In the shower, the bath, and on the bed or something like that, okay. Yeah, but make sure you tell everybody, you know, male and female, okay. Any person that has breast tissue, male or female, needs to keep an eye on things, okay. Exactly. Or, you know, the chest area, chest breast area, whatever you want to call it, has tissue in it and we need to obviously keep an eye on things because, you know, anybody can get breast cancer. All right, so it's really important that whoever you are, we are checking every month for lumps, bumps, any abnormalities, okay, any change in the breast and the shape, any dimpling, any puckering or anything like that, any shriveled up nipples, any rashes anywhere, any redding of the skin, any discharge or anything like that, okay, any crusting, yeah, absolutely anything, any minute little detail, it doesn't matter how big it is, how small it is, whatever, you know, always come and get checked, go to your doctor, straight to your breast care nurse and, you know, get things checked out. All right, like you have done today, it was a very brave thing to do. I'm very proud of you that you've, you know, straight away you were on the ball. All right, but like I said, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay, your breasts are perfectly fine, your chest area is perfectly fine, your glands are perfectly fine. Okay, yes, no worries at all. And the little things that we do have, they're not serious. Okay. And they're perfectly fine to live with. Okay? Good. But on that note, I will be checking for an infection. And if we do have an infection in that area, then that does need to be treated. Because we can't leave it. Okay, that's where problems lie. Okay. Just be extra careful when you are shaving. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. So, do you have any questions about any of the breast area, the examination, or the ultrasound. Okay, are you sure? Okay, well if you do think of anything, please just ask, all right? Good, so. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to check your temperature. I'm just going to pop it in your ears. Okay. Double check on your forehead. Perfect. No temperature at all, that's fine. Okay, if I can have your index finger, this one. Keep your finger there. Keep it nice and still for me. Oxygen level's good. Pulse a little bit on the first side. It's coming down a bit now, that's it. Perfect, thank you. That's why I never do it before. I do it before and the blood pressure before. It's often through the roof, you know. <laughs> Everyone's panicking. Right. So, take this on. Right, that's that. So we'll check your urine first.
possibly this will excite sir. This is possibly an infection. I've got no symptoms of infection anywhere else, have you? The bladder okay. 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 I will write all this up and send it over to your doctor, okay? They will probably call you in for a general check once I've requested one, okay? Okay. Right. Last thing I need to do is literally your blood tests and you're free to go, okay? It will take me a good few days to get the report together because I want the, obviously, the ultrasound scan report done. I want all the questions and everything we ask put together with the findings on the examination okay yeah so I'm just going to jot a few little notes down on the exam then i can finish that later all right then i will do your bloods Right, you can just pump for me with both hands. Probably better that one. Relax that side. Okay, just hold your hand like that for me. Check. 
it nice and still for me. Little sharp scratch. Release your fist. Thank you. that right there, okay. Okay, we'll just press for me, okay. It's all good. Right, so I know what is what with the blood, so I'll fill that form in once you have gone. So, If we just take a look at this, okay. let's tell you what to look out for, okay? And, okay, so we must look and feel. All right, so you want to look for any changes in the skin texture, such as puckering and dimpling. You want to feel for any lumps or thickening. Look for any nipple discharge. Look for any nipple inversion and changes in direction. You want to look for any swelling in your armpit or around your collarbone. You want to feel, see if there's any constant pain, unusual pain in your breast or armpit. You want to look for a sudden change in the size or the shape and you want to see if there's any rash crusting of the nipple and the surrounding area as I mentioned to you before. Okay, but you just need to Google this. There's a lot under images and on obviously different websites. Now the NHS does have quite a good one for you to have a look at. It's about keeping yourself healthy. All right. So I'm just scroll through here and it tells you what to do, shows you where and how to do it, what not to do and things like that, okay. And then mentioned about obviously getting the right bra size for you and things like that. Okay, and this one, this again, step by step how to do it and things like that. But a good one would be the, where are you? So obviously you know about signs and symptoms and things. It's always good to remember because, you know, some of my patients, they didn't realize that certain things were linked to breast cancer. And it's really important that we raise awareness and we tell people how to do it, what they should be looking for and things like that. Okay, it's really important. Some patient of mine had a, an indent like so and didn't realize it, it was a sign of breast cancer and it actually was breast cancer. Luckily, they are doing really well. But, you know, if it was left any later, it could have well been the opposite. So it's really important that you get checked out. You check your breasts regularly, you check your chest regularly, your armpits regularly, 
and if it's any problems however big or small you go straight to your doctor and get checked out all right okay but like i said just google online try not to get scared about things that you read but it's really good to you know just do some research about it and make sure that you are checking but yeah so it's breast cancer awareness month and i'm so glad that you've been seeing people promoting it and talking about it and that's made you come here today but like i said you've got absolutely nothing to worry about everything is perfectly fine and you're going to be just fine i'll write everything up as i said and the blood test results will be available within the next three days okay if i am concerned about any infections i will pop you on some antibiotics all right my lovely but if you do notice any changes or anything that you are worried about please don't hesitate to contact me all right we want to keep an eye on it and make sure you know they stay as they are and no changes and like i said at some point if you would like them removing we can do something about that but we'll have to see how we get on you're very welcome my lovely you take care now bye bye